This is a common question when uh, discussing linear modeling. We're given two specific situations. In this case, this manufacturing company is producing 220 pairs of pants, and it costs them $3,600. In another situation, they can produce 470 pairs of pants for $5,800. We're asked to find a linear model, and they ask in the form y equals mx plus b, where x is the number of pair of pants, and y is the monthly cost for the company. A beautiful way to look at this is to graphically represent this information. So here's a table and a graph for this. What we're being asked to do is find the equation of the line that goes through these two points. So the line being y equals mx plus b, the m being the slope, and the b being the y-intercept value. To calculate slope, what we need to find is the vertical change between these two points and the horizontal change, and then to find the ratio between these two. First, let's find the horizontal change. The horizontal change is the change between 250 and 470. It's a change, a difference of 220. The vertical change is the change between 5,800 and 3,600. That's a change of 2,200. To calculate slope, we simply find the ratio between these two. Um, this is the general form we know of the slope formula, the vertical change and the horizontal change. Again, this 2,200, this is the change in the cost, so it costs 2,200 more between the, one, the two situations. And the number down here is the number of pants. Or more specifically, what we're saying is that to produce 220 more pants, it costs 2,200 more dollars. Meaning our slope of 10 here, we find as the ratio between these two, is the cost per pant. It doesn't make any sense. The cost per pair of pants. So it costs them $10 for every pair of pants that they develop. So now we have uh, a good portion of our linear model. It's y equals 10x plus b. The next step is to figure out what this b value is. And we're going to do that by plugging in either one of these pieces of information for x and y. Uh, in this case, again, remember that x represents the number of pants produced and y represents the cost. I'll use the information for the 250 pairs of pants. We have that 250 pairs of pants cost $3,600. Again, the 250 is the x, the 300 or 3,600 is the y. Plugging those pieces of information in for x and y, we'll get that 3,600 equals 10 times 250 plus b. And we're just going to solve this equation for b. We now have our B value, and we're going to plug that B value into B for our linear model to get a final linear model that Y equals 10X plus 1100.